Okay, sprocket. Problem nine. We're going to break this one out of our three videos. So as you complete it and go. A lot of students get this and they completely and totally panic because they look at this and they go, oh my God, I cannot draw this. The answer is, oh my goodness, yes you can. Break it down again into its simplest parts. What are you drawing? And if I look at that, I go, well, one, I have my center lines going straight down the middle. Two, I have my center lines come in here off of it for what is often called the frog eyes. Students, for some reason, like to call that the frog eye. Okay, I can draw that a line. Okay, that's just a line. All right, so, so far I got my cross, line and line. I know it's 45 degrees. Okay, good, I got that. All right, what's next? Well, next I have this part. This part is simply a big circle. Okay, good. I have circle, 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 and circle. And I can trim, draw my lines, get it there. Okay, good. Feeling a little more comfortable. Okay, oh my goodness, how am I going to draw these teeth gears here? <laughs> what do I do? Okay, again, same thing. Don't panic. Look at it. What is it? Break it down. So I know, well, okay, well, one, this part of it matches up to this big circle going around, right? Two, I know the overall length for it has a radius 11, so I could draw another circle there. Okay, good. I look at it and go, well, what's the size of these? How do I find that? Oh, look over here. Detail is total 1 or 0.5. I can draw a line and offset it, right? 0.5. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, wait a minute. How am I going to draw the? Oh, wait a minute. There, it's 2. Oh, ooh, it's really not that hard. Don't panic. Look at what you're given to draw, be it on the computer, be it on paper, etc. Break it down. This is simply some center lines, some circles, etc. And then we array it. Remember how we did the array when we did the circles? Well, in this case, we'll draw a tooth and we'll array it around. So I'm simply going to show you first how to draw. You ready? You can do this. You may not want to do this, but you can do this. Okay, step one. Open up and save as so you don't lose it. Just the sprocket. I'm going to draw my center lines. Not really worried about where I'm drawing them to. I'm just drawing them. Remember, if you have problems snapping, oh snap, make sure they're all selected. That's usually the biggest culprit we have to deal with here. There we go. There we go. Not drawing about size of it and all that. I'm just trying to give me a center line, something to look at. I want my lines coming up this way, perfect 45. So go to line. And I tried to draw perfect 45, and it's not. Why is it not? Well, because ortho's on, so I'm going to turn ortho off. Now it's going. Well, now I could type it at 10 angle 45, or this is one of those times where dynamic input is your friend, F12, so that it's on. I'm going to pull it out to about right there. I'm going to hit the tab key until it's 45. Perfect line at a 45. Repeat that same process. See how you can see? So let's see, 90 plus 45 would be 135. Not worrying about how long they are, just worry about getting them drawing. Okay, next I'm going to draw the circle that goes around. And so I'm going to look at that and see what is it has. It has a radius of 8. Oop, well that tells me I need to do some serious drawing here, so I need to move this out. Do not draw it. Modify it. Again, I'm going to turn ortho on because now it's my friend. Sometimes ortho is your friend. Sometimes ortho is not your friend. Oh, it's not my friend. you got to know the difference. Okay, let's draw some circles. Okay. 
Okay, the frog eyes has a diameter of 2.3 and a radius of 2. So I'm going to draw the radiuses of 2 because I'm last command was still in the radius of 2. And then I'm going to change it to a diameter of 2.13. Remember, enter key does the last command. Trim, spacebar. And simply clicking on that delete. Okay, I got that. All right, next would be my teeth. So I'm going to do my zoom window. You can also get this done. If you're missing it, if you go to view, and we should be able to have the zoom right here. See the window. So if you're missing that in your shortcut, don't panic. You can get it to another place. Zoom in a corner. It doesn't matter really which corner you pick. Just pick one. And I'm simply going to look at it. And I go, well, okay, it's got a total of 1. So half of 1 is 0.5. Okay. Change those both to visible. So don't want them on that. And I'll look at this and go, okay, well, what's the size outside? Well, it has a radius of 11. Okay, good. It doesn't quite go out, so I'm going to use the opposite of trim, which is extend. Extend, spacebar. Works the same way as trim does, except for it extends out to something, which is what I want it to do. Back to trim, spacebar. Now I'm going to start getting rid of the parts I don't want or need. And if I find that I need that, remember, extend, spacebar, does the exact opposite. Okay. Spacebar. Actually, I really don't need the whole thing. There we go. Come on. Delete. Go away. Okay. Good. Next part I need is I need the little arc to swing in the middle. I want a start end radius. So I know where it start and where it went in. It has a radius. So start end radius because it has a radius of two. Bottom, top, to enter. Start in radius. Arc, start in radius. Okay, simply a matter of drawing. Show you again. Under your art tool, find that start in radius. Keep typing two until it gets it in. If you go the opposite direction when you're drawing it, I'm going to show you what happens. So let's use that same same start in radius down. See how it put it on the outside? So where you actually start in does actually make a difference. Keep hitting that two until it puts it in there. Okay, good. Next, I'll look at it and go, well, how many teeth do I have? So let's count the teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen total, thirteen teeth. Does that make sense? Go to my polar array. Correct. Enter key. Center. I need to have 13 of them. I do not want 360. I only want to go in half. Where'd it go? Ooh, Lord, that's not good.
Oh my goodness. All right, let's try that array again. One. Go ahead and get rid of this part because I don't want it. Come on, go away. Thank you. Okay, array can be a cheeky little devil sometimes, so I'm going to find my array. Pick, enter. Pick my center point. I'm going to have 13 teeth. Hundred and eighty. Ah, there it goes. Now it's just what I want. If that's how I want it, hit enter or click on close array. Both work. And then I'll look in here and go, well, what do I need to do to get rid of it? Make it look like the example. So trim, space bar. And usually by this point is when students are going, oh, I can do this. All right, now let's look at the center part. What do we need to draw? And what we're going to be drawing is what's called a keyway. So I'm looking at the keyway and I realize, well, one, that my keyway is simply a circle in the middle with some lines and some trimming that I have to do to make it match that keyway. So I'm simply going to go draw me a circle again. I uh, look and make sure first, that what do I know it is? Well, it's a diameter. Next, I look at it and I go, well, okay, it's 0.75, which half of that would be 0.375. So let's do some offset. Change that to visible. I'm going to zoom in on it so I focus on what we're working on. Okay, so now I need the last of the keyway. And if I look at the detail, it shows that the keyway and again I'm just pulling out. It's 0.375 up. So I look at the detail and use that to help me to construct it. And again I make sure I use my trim, space bar. Get rid of what I don't need. Do my zoom extents. Bring back as I need to or move out as I need to so that I can make it look, as an example given, like it's supposed to look. What you want to do is save as, say this is Brocket, and next I'm going to show you how to get this into the title block. And then after I show you how to get it into the title block, then I'll show you how to dimension it, and then you're done with it. All right, congratulations.